guys welcome to my channel it's your girl helen so this video is about food so just like you've seen this is called okwa and it's a it's called bread food in Eng bread fruit in english so and uh i've actually had to, i've actually shown it to a couple of my friends and they decided they didn't know anything about it i don't know but it, it grows mostly in uh in nigeria so this uh, should I say my, I don't know if it, I, I don't know if it grows in the other part of Africa, but I'm sure of Nigeria. So and I made this and it is yummy. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Meanwhile, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure you subscribe, okay, and share the video to your friends. Yeah, so it is a Saturday and I made it, I tried to make it because I've not made it in a long time. Uh, I, I had someone bring it for me in the, from Nigeria, that was uh, June last year, I think about June or July last year. And ever since then, I've only cooked it once, just once. And uh, that once, I never tried again because it didn't really give me what I wanted. So and I just I also did I used a different method to cook it anyway, and this time I decided another I didn't have to try another method. So and not just try another method. I also try try to do something else, something different. Like this time I added corn. I don't know if you guys can see that. You might not really see, it, but I added corn, and this corn is kind of it helps the um, the corn helps the food. Like I don't know if you come from part of Nigeria, just the same as chili can corn. Yeah. This is almost as much chili can come. This is beans. Uh, this is the form of beans. It's the form of it's, you know, the, the uh, okwa or breadfruit, so to say, is, is, is really, really proteinous. It's like beans. So it's just, it just the same as chili can come. So if you're a lover of chili can come, you should love this as well. So I'm going to show you guys uh, how I made this. And actually, there are some stuff I wanted to do. Yeah, during the video that, that was at the beginning and I was, there was some ingredients I wanted to add so, but I decided, I changed my mind and said not to add them because I felt like, okay, let me just do it differently. Like, you know, you know when you start something, you're like, okay, I gotta do it differently, let me just change something. So you guys, hope you like it and and hope you enjoy it. So if you are, if you are, uh, if you're from Nigeria or if you're from anywhere, anywhere, I, I'm, I'm mentioning Nigeria because Nigeria is mostly where this food is eaten. Like, it's mostly where this food is made. This kind of food is eaten. So please, if you're from Nigeria, you might also like to try this differently. Or you might you might want to get get it from Nigeria or get it from a friend of yours. Okay, so I'm going to get down to business. Hope you enjoy the video. Hope you enjoy it. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Okay, and share the video to your friends. Take care and love you guys. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> so, guys, these are the items I use for the for the uh, for the for cooking this. The, I use some stockfish, crayfish, and corn, sweet corn, pepper, uh, onions, and seasoning cubes. So, I start by washing the onions. I start by washing the breadfruit like really prop properly like squeezing it with my hands as much as i can that way i can squeeze out some of the dirt some of the uh leaves the the back that couldn't get squeezed out properly when it was pres being pres getting processed and they and they they uh they come up up on the water and that way i can drain them so i wash as many times as i can to drain off the dirty particles and guys after that the next thing i do is that i put it in the water i let it sit in the water for about 20 minutes so that way some of the dead dirty particles can soak they can get soaked and become really soft and when i wash them again everything goes away so guys this works really well for dried for dried ones because i know I've, I've had it for a long time so guys the next thing i do is that i use my potash i add some potash so someone might ask what is potash it's basically being used in nigeria i don't know if it's used in any part of any other part of the country i don't know you guys help me so i use the potash 
to help it soften really really well so and next thing i do is that i put in my i put some of the uqua in the water and i see it you can see how i'm sieving it so that some sand can drain get get on the they can sink underneath that way i don't get you get it doesn't get all sandy when you're chewing it so guys i have to cover it up and uh let it sit for some minutes and uh i let it sit for like 10 minutes that way it gets boiled it gets cooked and after that uh i can add some of the ingredients so you guys can see that there are some of the ingredients that i do not use like the stock uh, the uh, crayfish i didn't use the crayfish so now i'm using the stockfish and put the stockfish in so that the stockfish can uh, cook alongside the okra so i didn't put the crayfish because i felt like okay maybe it might it might, it might get too fishy <laughs> so that was why i didn't put the crayfish and the onions i'm not an onion fan but i i believe i think it's not really i don't really need it. but some people do put it some people use it and if i had put me if i had put the, oh, the crayfish the crayfish it wouldn't have been bad as well but i feel it might be too fishy so guys, I put in my salt, put in some seasoning cubes, and uh, as you can see, it's already cooked. And I'm going to add my stockfish now. So to, uh, not stockfish, dry fish. So the dry fish, I added the dry fish. Uh, I should have added it before, but I forgot to do that. I lost track of time. So I reduced the heat so it doesn't get burnt underneath. So guys, I put this so that uh, I. the next thing I do is that I also put my oil, my cooking oil. My cooking oil this is red oil so guys that way uh uh it can cook and not get burnt and if you if you're a lover of pepper you can put pepper if you're not you can also not cook it with pepper and like i said if you're a lover of chili cancon this is the best for you so uh people put onions they put uh, crayfish you can put anything you want people put vegetable as well so and uh everything comes out super cooking is also about experimenting so guys i'm going to put some uh, i'm going to let it cook for a while like so that the uh, the oil can cook and then i i can add my uh corn so the sweet corn comes up and and because the food is already getting burnt a little bit i reduce the heat and not just that because i did not add my fish on time so i let it to let my fish cook really well and now the fish is cooked properly and then i can add my corn so as you can see it really seems a bit watery but no trust me it's not it doesn't it's not as it seems it will still become really 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 strong so guys food is ready and yummy like i said it is yummy do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to like this video i really like it because my aunt my aunt used to make this food and i used to enjoy it then so guys see you in my next video bye